welcome back to another vlog. I'm about to get ready to go on the balcony, drink my mushroom coffee, and do a little bit of journaling just to kind of bring in the morning in a peaceful and calm way. Okay, so I just got dressed. I'm wearing this set that I got the other day from TJ Maxx and then just my New Balances and my super old like snakeskin Michael Kors purse just so I can have all my stuff to run my errands. I'm about to go to Target and also to the UPS store. I've been going to the UPS store for about three weeks now, so I need to go or they not gonna take my return. So those are the things I'm doing right now. It's pretty early, it's like 10. Um, hopefully this is early enough, so let's go. Okay, real quick before I drive to Target. I need all of you who have a dog to let me know. If you live in an apartment, do you not keep your dog on a leash? I'm just like really curious, you know, because this is the third time somebody's dog has jumped on me in like the last like week. The third time somebody's dog has jumped on me because they didn't have their dog on a leash. So the dog comes running around the corner, the owner nowhere in sight and their dog jumps on me. It just happened to me with a pit bull and then another time it was a cute little dog and then another time it was like a, another like medium sized dog, like a, a like golden retriever or something like that. So like, I don't know, I just need to, I just need to know because I'm just I'm confused because I, I thought and then it's crazy because then when I finally see the owner they got a leash in their hand and then they're like oh my bad I I didn't know you were there and it's like this is a public place this is an apartment with other people like um thank god I'm not scared of dogs or I would literally lose my shit I'm gonna be honest with you today when the pit bull ran at me <laughs> I contemplated in my heart if I was scared of dogs for a moment. I'm just gonna be honest with you. That's why I'm asking because my life just slightly flashed before my eyes because he was running at me so fast and I was just like, Meg, you're not scared of dogs. It's fine. We're good. It's a pit bull. Like, he's cute. Like, he's cute. His owner's around here somewhere. I know he is. And then sure enough, as soon as his dog jumped on me, then he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So it's fine. Their, their dogs are not vicious by any means. It's more of like a playful jump. So maybe that's why they know their dog is not going to hurt people. But I don't know. I'm just curious. Like, you know, I don't have a dog. I had a dog growing up when I was a kid. And my mom, anytime we were in a public place, we always had like an apartment and stuff like that. We always used to have Bailey, that was my dog's name, on a leash. So I'm just, cu I'm just curious. Like, y'all let me know. Maybe not like at a dog park, obviously, but like if you were in an apartment complex that has like elevators and hallways and stuff, would you keep your dog on a leash? I'm just, I'm just curious. Y'all let me know. I'm slightly traumatized, but it, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe you don't have to put your dog on a leash. I don't know. I'm back from Target, so I'm just gonna do a quick little haul. I just talked to my dad. Uh, he's at my cousin's house. Some of my family is there. So we're about to have family time. So I'm about to just quickly do a haul and then I'll head over there. First, I got some hash browns. Uh, I got me a Hillshire Farm snack the Panera baked potato soup. Three russet potatoes and some chicken breast. Cold cuts. 
Then I got these club and cheddar sandwich crackers just to have like more snacks. I got some bedtime tea by the brand Yogi. I really like this. Uh, I also got some Heinz ketchup because that's one I like and I would just like to have it. Um, I got the Atkins Mocha Latte protein shake. Um, I was just gonna get some protein shakes and I saw these. I was like, okay, let's try them. And then I saw this premium white chicken in a pack. I've only seen tuna like this. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it. Cause I'm not a tuna person. Like I don't actually, I don't eat fish. It's, I, I just don't like the taste of it. Uh, so I was like, oh, cool, I'll try it. And then I got the um, coffee make coffee creamer. This is getting expensive. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy it anyway. Okay, I saw this shower curtain and I thought this was so pretty because I have like the black and white kind of theme going. I was like, I think that would be really pretty. So we're gonna put this up later. And the last like food items, cause I didn't get a lot of food cause I'm about to be gone for like four days for work. Um, I got some nature's own bread. I may take me like some sandwiches and stuff with me. And then I also got some more roasted garlic and herb from McCormick. This is one of my favorite seasonings. Um, and then the last two things are just toiletry items that I need to stock up on. So I got the Satin Care Shaving Cream. I like this one. I got this little Rosemary and Mint Edge Control from Myel. I really like this. Um, it doesn't hold my edges for a super long time, but it helps keep them shiny and it's, you know, most edge controls don't work for me long term. Like they'll work like initially when I use it, but then like later in the day, nothing's holding my edges so for me it's all about stuff that doesn't flake and stuff that helps make my edges like feel soft and moisturized which is that last few things i got just this listerine cool mint and then some nivea the cocoa butter one i only got listerine because there was like a target circle coupon and then um i got this black radiant soft focus finishing powder okay i've never tried this i really like having a pressed powder and i normally wear the maybelline fit me one but they didn't have my shade they didn't have it so i was like i need one though so i got this one we're gonna try it out hopefully this is a good color match i don't know we'll figure it out and even if it's not a perfect color match i usually can make stuff work so um I think that is everything that I got. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting stuff away. So I'm wearing a different shirt because it's another day. It's actually like three, four, it's four days later. Um, the last thing I said, I went to hang out with my family. I did do that. I honestly had a great time. Oh, it's so good to see them. Some of them I hadn't seen literally in a year. So it was so good. It was like actually quite a lot of my family, cousins and my dad and um, like some of my younger cousins, older cousins. It was, it was just really good to see everybody. So that made me really happy. And um, that was honestly, that's one of the reasons I moved. Uh, Cause I just felt like I was too far from my family and I have such a crazy schedule that like, I miss so much stuff. And so I just, it just, I don't know. I just feel really good. But anyway, when I got back, I was really exhausted. I didn't feel like doing anything. So basically all I did was pack my suitcase and watch TV. So I just, I didn't have anything else to say, but I'm back now. It's a couple of days later. I, you know, went to work, went to Miami, had a trip, came back. And now we're here and um actually yesterday at the end of my trip i was checking my email and i did finally hear back from that job that i told you guys about and i didn't get it i'm just kidding i'm not gonna cry <laughs> i already had my moment you know as soon as i got it i, I was still at work actually well i was done working but i was still like in my uniform i was still at the airport um, I was getting ready to take my commuter flight back here to Atlanta. 
So I went and cried in the bathroom for like five minutes. <laughs> and it was so funny because while I was crying in the bathroom, the person next to me was like taking a shit. <laughs> and so then that made me want to cry even more. <laughs> but I literally told myself, I was like, no, we're going to cry for five minutes and then we're done. Doesn't matter. Moving on. So that's what I did. I told, and then I called my mom. I told her what happened. And she was like, oh, it's fine, man. You're going to get something else. And so then this morning, so that, that all happened yesterday. Then this morning, I got a phone call to do an interview next Friday. So I'm super excited. It's like a week from now um, because uh, they wanted to meet on Monday, but I have to work Saturday to next Thursday. So they agreed to do next Friday. So I'm really excited about that. So yay, wish me luck. Uh, thank you all so much for everyone who said the kind words, wish me luck, kept me in your prayers. I really appreciate that, that was just so sweet. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated since I did mention it and people are probably like, well, Meg, did you get the job? Are you still a flight attendant? People keep asking me if I'm still a flight attendant. Unfortunately so, unfortunately. I promise when I'm not a flight attendant anymore, everybody's gonna know. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. Here's the throw pillow, like, what's this called? I almost called it a bag. The pillow, just the, the outside. You know what I'm trying to say. When I look it up, I'm gonna be like, I can't believe my brain just failed me like this, but it has like a little zipper so I can stick the pillow inside. Oh, cover. <laughs> Oh my gosh, pillow cover. Here it is, this is the one I got. I think it's pretty, it comes with two, so you can see it behind me. And then here's the actual insert. It's actually really fluffy, nice pillow. I got the 24 by 24 inch in both because I wanted a pretty large pillows. Um, so we're about to put these together. Both of them are from Amazon, by the way. We're gonna like put this together and see what it looks like on the couch. Also, they had a whole bunch of other patterns um, for these if you guys are interested in like covering your current throw pillows or something like that and lots of different sizes. So these are the throw pillows. Honestly, I really like them. I, I fit because I wanted something that wasn't just a plain black because obviously my couch is black. That's boring. But then I also didn't really like when I laid like just plain like white or cream or even gold pillows up there. Um, but I wanted to find something that had a pattern or something to it, but it didn't clash. You see with like the marble. So I don't know, I think I really like this, you know? Tell me, here, let's go from this angle. Just ignore my suitcase in the background. But here, let's close that. Okay, so we're back. I closed the barn door back there just so it was less distracting uh, with my suitcase in the background. So this is it. I, I don't know, I really like it. I do feel like the pillows could have a little less black, but I don't know if I'd like them as much. So I think I'm gonna keep these. I like them, I'm happy with it. And so of course I'll have the pillow inserts linked down below and the covers in case you're interested in getting them in a different pattern or even in this pattern. Time to open up the dish set. Also, I laid against the pillows and they feel so good. dish set that I got I actually got the same dish set I had from my last apartment when I lived in Birmingham so um a few people asked me like with all my stuff there I sold and donated most of that stuff before I became a flight attendant because I knew I would have to more than likely downsize based on the options for bases that um, my airline has 
and um, I didn't know for sure which base I was gonna get. I didn't know where I was gonna get assigned. And like I priced it to a couple of cities like Chicago and Dallas, because uh, those were two options. And it was so expensive to move all my furniture. So I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Plus a lot of the cities, you know, New York, Chicago, Dallas, Miami, expensive. You, so I knew I'd probably have to downsize. So that is why I got rid of a lot of my stuff. And that's why now I'm like, starting over fresh. It's like moving into an apartment for the first time. So, uh, yeah, I bought my same exact dishes that I had then cause I liked them. And, um, I gave my mom the other ones. I didn't actually donate those. I gave them to my, oh, I guess I donated them to my mom. Um, she just says they're a gift because I was like, Hey mom, like you still like, do you use like my dishes and stuff? She's like, yeah, girl, I love those. And I was like, Oh, so that means I can't have them back. And she was just like, no, what? get your own. So I had to buy them myself because mom wouldn't give them back. <laughs> oh, they're all individually wrapped. My camera as you can see, is having issues. Do you see me frozen? This is open. I've literally taken the battery out. Do you see this? Okay, now it's finally going in. This thing was frozen. Um, it deleted some more footage again, which is basically what happened right before my moving vlogs. My camera's been having like times where it's not okay and it starts deleting footage randomly. See, look. It just comes in and out. So I'm using my older camera. Um, so if it looks a little different, that's what happened. Um, so we're just gonna go with this one. The lens on this one is in a different spot. So it may take me a minute to get used to it, but I unboxed all of my dishes. It comes with a set of small plates, a set of larger plates, four for each, four really large mugs, and four bowls so i really like it because it almost has like a matte finish i don't know if you guys can tell uh so that's why i really like it so i ordered it it's from amazon i'll have it linked of course <laughs> so here we have the shower curtain it's black and white this is the little theme that i've been kind of going with this year it's from target again you know i mentioned to you earlier so we can finally put it up and I also have the hooks in my shower curtain where they're doubled, so I don't have to take the shower curtain liner down, which I'm excited about. Makes my life easier. All right, I finally flipped it back the right way. So this is what it looks like. I like it. I do kind of wish the inside of the shower wasn't showing on the sides, but that's just like the way the shower curtain line, like rod is screwed in. So it's whatever, it is what it is. But I was like something like black and like, or like a cute like painting or something there would be cute eventually. So, I like it, I like it. Since we're still in the bathroom, I figured I'd go ahead and set up my little acrylic perfume stand. I would typically keep it on my like large dresser, but since I only have the small dresser that I'm using as my nightstand right now, I'm just gonna keep the perfumes in the corner in my bathroom for now. So, they just have the two little legs right here and then a few little screws to put it together. It's super quick and easy to put together. And then I'll pop my perfumes on it.
there's the little perfume stand. I don't really have a lot of perfumes because I'm more of a body spray girl than a perfume person. I mean, I definitely love perfumes, but they last me a pretty long time because I don't spray too much because I'm cheap. So I wear a lot more body spray. So these are some of the perfumes I have. And yeah, that's it. This is, you know, like I said, this is super easy to put together. So I love it. And I could also use it to store products instead of like perfume as well. Back in the kitchen. Okay, so I have one of my potatoes in the oven. No, 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 in the microwave. I wanted to put it in the oven, but apparently there's some weird like air function with my oven. So they have to like order a piece for it to fix it. So my maintenance people have come by the last couple of days to fix it. I wasn't here, but they had to order something. I just talked with one of them today. So I'm putting my potato in the oven and now I'm about to use this size pan um to saute me some broccoli and then i'm also gonna put some chicken breast in the air fryer and basically i'm gonna have like a broccoli potato and like chicken meal yeah just wash the few dishes that I cooked with so basically the one that I cooked the broccoli in and then the plate I ate off of and the coffee mug I had this morning so it's not too much it should go pretty quick I'll wash all of these dishes that I unboxed I'll probably do that tomorrow um, I didn't eat off of any of them because you know I want to clean them first but I don't feel like washing all that tonight so I'll just wash the dirty stuff that I ate off of today just so my kitchen will smell nice and fresh. And then we'll cross the bridge of taking out the like cardboard boxes and putting away the, oh, sorry, I have a headache. Um, washing the new dish set later tomorrow, probably. Basically, I'm gonna finish taking my makeup off and then I'm gonna read for like 20 minutes in my book The Mountain Is You I've been reading this since January I think like I took a break in February from like my reading and stuff I don't know why I was trying to do like my glow-up diaries and then I fell off of it um, some stuff did come from it and you know i was gonna talk about it in a video but i don't know i guess i just forgot to do that but i really kind of want to almost do like another not really a globe diaries but just try to get back into adding healthier things back into my life so like the reading and the journaling those were really good for like my mental health and sanity and then like trying to eat a little healthier which is really hard since I'm not buying as much fresh food because I'm gone so much and I don't really want to meal prep because then I have to take extra bags and worry about stuff spoiling so I don't know I'm just trying to figure my life out basically and try to be healthier and then I'm start going to the gym at some point since I have a gym here at my apartment, but yeah, I'm just not really sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll let you guys know. I think that was everything. Oh, I'm thirsty. 
that's always why I have to use the bathroom all throughout the night because I chug a whole bunch of water before I go to sleep but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in my next one love you guys bye